I would say one of the biggest things people aren't utilizing is film study, right? You know, one conversation with a person who uh, has more experience than you, they can save you just hundreds of hours, thousands of hours of effort in something, right? So like, for example, when I do the Leandro Lowe knee cut, uh, and then uh, also the uh, crab ride stuff, working with uh, Espen and Tommy on this stuff, right? So I had a conversation with Espen about this, and, you know, uh, we we're looking at the crab ride, and I, that was one of the main reasons I came here, is like, I was trying to figure out a lot of the stuff myself, and there's things that maybe I would have done wrong for like six months that like, you know, he spent five years to develop and he understood instead of inverting on the neck, you roll over the forehead or something like that. And he can give that to me in one class, one session and boom, I level up. Right. So then like he's working on the Leandro low knee cut and a lot of people, they post their hand when they go. And I did that like that for like six years. And then like one day watching video and playing with, it, I discovered pulling up on the arm when you hit the cut makes a huge difference in being able to pull it off. Right. Uh, and that I was able to show him that on the first day. So he got to learn something that took me six years of doing it incorrectly to discover that I was doing wrong. And he learned that in one day. And then I got to work with him and learn something in one day that probably took him four or five years of studying to figure out. So uh, if you want to bridge the gap versus people who are more physical uh, and more um, uh, gifted than you or have better training partners, uh, if you can't ask higher level people than you, then watch video. Because if uh, Leandro Lowe is in Brazil and the gym he's training at has like 70 black belts on the mat and they're going all day with each other trying to figure out how to pass worm guard. And I'm not training like, you know, I'm training with like two blue belts at my home gym and I see video online and I see Leandro use some uh, grip to get around the worm guard. Of course, I'm going to borrow that because I'm basically just skipping the 500 hours he went through to discover that grip change that makes him able to get out of the position and i'm just borrowing it from one video clip so to bridge the mat time that is required to achieve a high level if you uh watch a lot of film you can just extract small details from people really fast without you having to do the thousands of hours to figure out these details and that's something you can do when you're off the mat you know there's only so much physically you can do in a day if you're doing like you know four hours of hard sparring a day you can't do 10 hours so you can do four hours of hard sparring or three hours of hard sparring and an hour of film study and note taking and it may May make more of a difference than you know another three hours of sparring would have just because of smart stuff you know so you need to spar hard but then also analyze and reflect after the sparring to try to make uh changes